Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Crypt of the Unknown drawing session here. Um, I'm simply uh, taking two concepts and mashing them together into what I think would be one fun overall concept. Uh, the story behind this, really, the genesis, is that I was at the record store and I was shopping around and I was looking at the comic books as I usually do when I go there. Probably the only reason I really go there aside from games and vinyl and movies. I was looking through the comic books and I saw Batman R.I.P., which has this cover that you saw at the beginning here. It's drawn by Alex Ross. And Alex Ross is a famous artist now. Um, I think the work that propelled him in the industry was his work on the Marvel's comic book. It's simply called Marvel's, and it's made by Marvel Comic Books. And uh, I've seen him, his work in other things like Hellraiser comic books and, you know, Kingdom Come, some of the bigger things he's known for and not known for. And uh, I'm not doing this because I think I can draw better than Alex Ross. That is absolutely not the reason why I'm doing this. I should say that first and foremost. Um, simply put, I just wanted to do something fun. And I thought, well, what if Batman R.A.P wasn't Batman and it was Dracula from Tomb of Dracula, which is another Marvel comic book. Not that Batman is, but Tomb of Dracula was on my mind because I have recently been reading volume one of Tomb of Dracula in the black and white Marvel reprint uh, omnibuses. And uh, it's got issues one through 25. I'm currently just finished the first issue with the first, uh, or not the first issue, but I currently have just finished the first appearance issue of Blade. And people might know the character Blade from the movies Blade with Wesley Snipes. Um, our Dracula here that I'm drawing is kind of more leaning towards the, is kind of leaning more towards the Christopher Lee Dracula. Um, that was in the famous Hammer films. They were British Dracula films that had a lot of gore and a lot of breasts poking out of their dresses. <laughs> they were a little over the top. Um, Christopher Lee himself uh, didn't get many speaking lines as Dracula, but that's kind of the Dracula I went for here. I guess what people would say is the more quote-unquote sexy Dracula. <laughs> it certainly wasn't Bela Lugosi. No offense, Bela Lugosi. Um, but yeah, the, the thing here was to try and see if I could do this first off, which I did, and then see how it would turn out. Obviously, I have to get a better setup, better lighting. Um, that's already going to be in the second video, which I will do after this for Inktober, Halloween. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to see if I could do it. Obviously, I'm going to take some time to ink this afterwards. You're not just going to see me do the pencil work here. Uh, but just to talk more on the comic books, um, Batman R.A.P. was a Grant Morrison written issue, and I believe it was done by Tony Daniels in the in the actual art in the book. Um, it's a very crazy story. Um, Batman basically <laughs> becomes this other like character where he says Zen R.R. or something, Zen Ra R. Um, basically what it is, is, it's this thing he put into his consciousness to protect him from somebody who would manipulate it in any way. Uh, Batman stars in it. Um, eventually Damian Wayne and Dick Grace and Nightwing would take over the mantle of Batman later on in runs and so on and so forth. It's, it's a, I don't want to spoil anything. It's a very great, uh, run by Grant Morrison, who is just a wild man, a wild card when he writes stories fascinating stories in my opinion just based on his ideals of what the world is and what comic books are if you haven't looked up anything on grant morrison i suggest you do that as well as tony daniel's art and alex ross's art um going back to term of dracula this was a comic book that was made in the 70s it ran for 70 issues um from i think 71 to 79 and um it was done by Gene Colan on the whole run. In fact, he advocated to do it. I'm not sure why, if he's a big fan of Dracula. I didn't read as much on that as I should have. Uh, it was also um, basically taken over, and most of the work was done by uh, Marv Wolfman, I believe. Yeah, and Marv Wolfman 
didn't even know what he was going to do with the series until about issues 12 and 14. You know, that's kind of an exciting thing because in these Tomb of Dracula comic books, what Dracula is doing is essentially he's on a adventure, but he's also running away constantly through all of the issues because he's being chased by a Van Helsing, a female Van Helsing. And he's using all of his powers to try and get away. So he'll hypnotize children and have them attack the protagonists, or he'll raise the dead. Or he'll run into other vampires who are in his employ in different timelines as well because he will jump through mirrors and go to different places in the world. It's uh, very much everything you would think that Castlevania kind of came up with, but it actually showed up a lot of it in this uh, comic book here. So it's kind of neat. Um, again, Blade makes his first appearance. There's other vampire slayers. Sometimes they have to work together to stop supernatural stuff. Good guys and bad guys working together. Dracula um, actually letting a lot of people live sometimes just because of what they do and how they act. It's a very well-rounded character. Marv Wolfman leaves nothing to be desired. Uh, it's a great s story, and I actually appreciate it a lot. Um, my only thing, my only gripe with it is that I have to read it in the black and white pages. I do have a couple issues of Tomb of Dracula. Um, not a whole lot. I think maybe three altogether. Uh, they're actually kind of hard to find if I'm not using the internet, but I usually like to support my comic shops, so that's just the way I roll. Woo. Aside from that, yeah, I'm just going to do the basic outline here with the pencil work. Um, obviously... I do a rough, and then afterwards I try and ink it, um, something I'm sure that anyone who's familiar with comic book art will notice that I'm going to do here. The uh, thing that I would like to ask all you guys, though, before I let you go and tune into the music for the inking is in the future, because I will be doing these randomly here and there when I get a chance, and once we reach a thousand subscribers, I can start doing them live. But the thing I'd like to ask is, uh, do you like when I speed up the video here on the inking? Would you rather have a time-lapse video? Or do you enjoy the more slower, uh, methodical thinking of the drawing with the rough beforehand? And so we could split it, the inking could go time-lapse. Or would you rather just have a full time-lapse video where it's as fast as possible? Um, leave your comments below and just let me know and I'll try to do my best. Obviously, again, I'm going to have a better setup. This was just the start of something cool and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, again, you should support your local comic book shops. Uh, go read Tomb of Dracula, please. It's so good. So much fun. Dracula is kind of a goofball sometimes, but it's still serious, still fun, still awesome. And go read Batman R.I.P. Again, I wasn't trying to take away anything away from Alex Ross's work. This is uh, just for fun. And, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know if you thought uh, it came out all right. Anyway, um, everyone have fun. Keep reading comics. Keep supporting the industry. And let me know what you want me to draw next. How about that? All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.